This is a sample podcast for activity number two for media information literacy. The contents and notions of this podcast does not reflect the nature of the job of the anchor, nor does reflect the school he works at. Welcome back to another session of Tea with Teddy, where we sip and spill tea about anything and everything. With me, Teddy. In this episode of Tea with Teddy, we're going to dive into the waters of homophobia in the workplace. In the previous episodes, we talked about what homophobia is and how it affects the lives of homosexual people. But now, let's go to a more serious route, the workplace. I've had my fair share of homophobia in the workplace. Even before I got the job, the essence of the questions that was thrown at me was very homophobic. At my very first job interview, they asked me if I was willing to change the way I talk, the way I walk, and the way I dress myself. And that got me thinking, what's wrong with me? Was who I am considered a sin? I mean, I get it. It was a Catholic school, so they had reservations of a lot of things. So I was like, yes, I will change who I am. But it's just in the later years that I realized there was nothing wrong being what I am. I am me and I guess take it or leave it. When I got the job, I asked around if they had the same questions. Apparently, it was only me. I let it go and as a Gemini, my true colors did eventually die into their grayscaled minds. But it took guts for me to do that. With times like these, I always ask, what would Lady Gaga do? Then I opened my Spotify and Born This Way was on and I got my answer. Let's have a quick break and when we come back, we'll spill more tea here at Tea with Teddy. I can't do this anymore. All of my photos got hacked. They're everywhere. All my classmates know about them. My life is over. To just end it. I should just kill myself. 20% of kids that are cyberbullied think of suicide. Think before you click. If you are experiencing any cyberbullying, you may call 741-741 to reach a trained guidance counselor. And we're back. It's me, Teddy, and you're listening to Tea with Teddy. So homophobia does not necessarily mean that the person is afraid of us homosexuals. They sometimes just don't understand what it means to be us. They don't know where we are coming from or what direction we want for our lives. Another experience that I had with homophobia in the workplace is that co-workers think that because they are men, they think that we automatically want to sleep with them or be with them. I mean, duh, we have standards, and not just standards, we have types as well. We're not predators who just pounce when we see prey. It's just so sad to think that they seem like they're dehumanizing us. We are humans. We feel like everyone else. We hurt like everyone else. But the amount of respect that we get, it's it's not the same. It sometimes feels like we need to beg for the respect that we want, which is totally wrong. There was also this one time when I had a heated conversation with a co-worker because he pointed out that we have those certain talents because we are gay. And that's a backhanded compliment. 
he keeps insisting that he was merely saying that I was talented. But no, he correlates the talent that I have with being gay. But that's another topic for us to talk about here on Tea with Teddy. Keep your teacups full. Goodbye and catch me again on the next one.